All right, Vesper Fangs. Hey, we leveled up. Get back into our city. We'll go find Hulk Hogan. Let him know that all is right with the world. If these damn things would just stop. I guess it's free experience. I need to... And free stuff, I guess. That's good. All it cost me really is my time. It wasn't all that long ago that I was dying at every encounter because I did not know what to do. I felt overwhelmed at first, but now I'm kind of looking forward to uh, learning more about the arts and kind of fleshing, fleshing my character out. Dude, I had the best bratwursts for dinner. There's nothing special about them. So I, I really probably shouldn't call them the best bratwursts. Uh, but it, it's been a while since I've had bratwursts. It's sauteed some peppers and onions. In some baking, bacon fat. And a sauerkraut. I love sauerkraut. What's this do? Oh, I can customize my abode. Can I? Oh, I can make it different shades of... Bleh. I'll just leave it. Alright, where is he? The camera moves very slow when you're inside. Oh, there he is. Very slug sluggish. Report this to Secretary Nunn. See if we can't bolster our defenses. Just one last thing. What the bloody hell is this dancing turnip doing here? See, they said, what the bloody hell. But nobody has an English accent. Or a European accent. But it's like the game's dialogue was written. Anyway, we were thinking you could be a good source of general intel about the plan. I don't know. Exactly how useful that'll be remains to be seen. Oh, don't you worry about a thing. Friends totally safe now that Tatsu was in town. Tatsu, watch over and protect. So the whole reason that characters in Xenoblade have European accents is because the first Xenoblade Chronicles game was localized for a European release, but never an American release. Nintendo of America just didn't think it would do well. Um, so then when it finally got released here, they just ported the European localization to America. And then that's a tradition that's carried on for the, you know, second and third games. Now this one has an American voice cast, which is just weird. Except in Nopon. They've got a Noponese accent. 
I don't really like the fur shading on him. You know what game's fur shading flipped me out? I should probably pay attention. I just remember being blown away by Donkey Kong Jungle Beats fur shading effect. I love those glasses. Why is everybody got to insult him? Looks like that little Pokemon, little otter thing, maybe. Look at those tattoos. I gotta take those freaking helmets off of them. Done and done. Welcome to Blaze, Tater. Counting on you. Don't be mean. Not all no pawns are pacifists. All right. Chapter three. Got a storage probe. Twenty thousand gold. That clock just counts down and then restarts. Yes. Yeah. Of course you are. You've taken to it like a fish to water, just like Alma and the commander said you would. Just to say, let's review the key points, and I can fill in some extra details. So it's taken ten episodes, but I think we're finally finishing the game's tutorial. I feel like this isn't like was this even meant to be a Xenoblade game or did did Nintendo just decide to brand this as Xenoblade? I'm with you. Do I get a choice? Of course I do. Cock my head. I mean, we're 
trespassing. Any wildlife that poses a clear threat must be eliminated. For experience points. And helmets. The life hold is our future, but we can't ignore the Somber ass music. We still have our duty to keep New LA safe. And sometimes that duty requires enacting coordinated strikes to solve problems before they can do real harm. But I feel like we're the ones we're doing harm. Oh. I do. Experience. They tend to keep them strictly to creatures that pose a significant threat to their survival. I want LASIK eye surgery. To contribute to this cause, operatives are asked to form into squads to take on special missions. But these squad missions, as we call them, don't get posted to mission control like your other more typical assignments. Rather, HQ transmits the details directly to all of us at the same time. What's this music? As many people to know about them ASAP so they can be taken care of ASAP. I'm sure you can imagine. Does this game have an online component to it? Because everybody's freaking out about the whole. You know. And it's why we ask members to sign up to the squad beforehand. Okay. The online game mode consists of a squad of four player online game mode that has special squad missions, as well as a squad of up to 32 players online for a blade report consisting of online communications, item trading. Okay. So we're going to have to test this out while, uh, while the testants. Uh, you know. <laughs> and I think that about covers the basics, right? Yep, covers the basics. I did not pay attention to a dang thing. Yes. Got all that? I, t I don't know what's wrong with my brain. I did not. I did not pay attention to that. So All right. Well, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? Let's go to bed. Yeah. Let's call it a night. Yeah. Oh, Pops looks so excited. He's in real bed. Was he wearing a hat? Yeah, he did have a hat on. As his little hood. It's a closet. Ah. Oh. Huh. I don't like the way they treat him. Has the game explained what that percentage is? At Blade... <clears throat> I'm sorry, at last, your Blade adventure begins. God. Main story missions can be undertaken via the Blade Barracks. But remember that they come with specific requirements like level and survey rate. Good luck. We're counting on you to find the Lifehold Core. Good job on your mission. Two new features are now available. The first is Blade Reports, which allow Blade operatives to interact and share info. Use this feature to coordinate missions, give advice. Uh, that we cannot do because of Meverse. Next up is the Blade Scout feature. This allows a Blade operative to form a, another team to aid you for a limited time. Simply access the Blade Scout console 
Anytime you need an extra hand. Well, look at that. Now all blade services are at your disposal. Now the game starts. Editing your greeting. Hey, so have you set up your greetings? They're a great tool for introducing yourself to other operatives. You can personalize them by selecting edit greetings from the social menu. Try it out sometime. Just remember to be respectful of other players. Yeah, you got it. Oh my goodness, Hulk. Once you hit class rank 10, you might want to think about changing classes. Moving from drifter to a higher class will allow you to use skills. Oh, and remember, you can change classes anytime, so don't be afraid to try something new. You're a blade now. That implies great responsibility, but also great freedom. And though some assignments require specific party members, who you take on your travels is generally up to you. Call on Lynn or myself anytime you like. We'll be in the barracks. Oh. So they just don't come with me. Yeah, man. Enable all this. Um, yeah, but there is no me burst. Achievement notifications, that doesn't matter. Alright, cool. Cool. What's this? What are we doing? Do I have to do any of this? What's going on? What do you want from me? What does this decision do? Uh... What? What is happening? Hey, it's saving for us. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. So, can we play online now? We were soldiers. Well, I'm not I'm not the right level though. Oh, and I need... Does it just show my level somewhere at all times? Level 10. Okay. So they said something about... Okay, like this thing? God money. Cash, cash. Yeah, I need help. I'm going to ignore this for now. And we're going to make... Is that guy drinking booze? Hey, man. Oh, that's just Worcestershire sauce. So... Now what? What's this? Hey, required level one. Oh, required... <laughs> do I gotta go find... What do I do? Do I talk to her and then she'll join me? Yeah. Um... Let's go see what we got. Out and about. <sighs> so... Are these things just... Okay, so I can talk to them to get them in my party anytime, I'm guessing. But let's go outside. Yeah, it said something about the commercial district was updated. So we'll go roam around for a second. And then I'm going to bed. 
And the next time I play, look at how happy this dude is. Really? So what was the deal with that Yardley guy? I don't know. There's this. <laughs> Hello, seems you're already on your way to making a name for yourself. My name is Zach. My mom made that for me. One day you're outgunning hostile Xenos, the next you're adopting strange walking delicacies. He's not food. Oh, but I didn't stop you just to catch him. Commander Hulk Hogan has asked me to brief you on the next time I saw you. Are you familiar with blade levels? No. Tell me about him. Oh good, glad I didn't prepare the speech for nothing. New recruits are assigned a blade level of one. They're just beginning after all. As they continue to clear missions, that level will slowly go up. You can think of it as a barometer for your contributions as a blade. The top level is 10. That's for unstoppable powerhouses and masters of the field. Those are the blades who get written into the history books. Next up are division points. Know about those? Nuh-uh. No? All right. But you do know about the divisions, right? The eight blade divisions each serve a different important role here on Mira. Yeah, you told me about that. Uh, expanding frontier nav, hunting indigens, retrieving salvage from the white whale, and so on. As a blade performs those tasks, he or she is awarded points based on performance. Those are the division points I mentioned. You probably know this, but to advance your blade level, you have to collect division points. The good news is that basically any work you do as a blade will net you points. Simple, right? Um, simple. Ooh. Let's hope so. Why don't you set your sights on a blade level of two? Alright. Yeah, man. Okay. Okay. Accept. Did I do it? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'll pay you a visit. Once I've verified your status, I'm authorized to issue you a fat bonus. Let's start by getting you a gift to commemorate reaching blade level two. Congratulations. Hollow figure projector. Oh, so I can customize my thingy. Have I had a look at my bonus? I'll be furnishing you with all sorts of things to deck out and customize your barracks. A place in Mary you could truly call home after all. Now you can make it just like home by tweaking that it's nothing like my house. Not the sort of thing you expect Vandem to think of, is it? Hey I don't know. Hulk Hogan was a, a really elegant dresser. Is. I don't know what he's like now. Isn't he like a sex offender? Or something? There's one additional bonus, probably one you care more about than redecorating your room. I'll be increasing the level of your skills. You have three fields in total, mechanical, biological, and archaeological. But each is still fairly rudimentary at this point, and, you, and you're ready to move beyond that. Well, I've got good news. As part of your bonus, you can choose to improve one of your field skills. You may think it's a little cheap of us to force you to choose one at a time, but believe it or not, it's for your own sake. Forcing too many advance. God, stop talking. Okay. Alright, enough lecturing. Time for the fun part. Which field skill? Um. But what do these do? I guess I just have to find out. All right, you got it. Thank you. Thank you. Man, I appreciate you, lady. Dude, am I blade level three? What's my, what is my blade level? Oh no, I'm only blade level two, but I'm rank 10. Does that mean I should change my uh, class? 
Ooh. Yeah, I should. Uh, mixes offensive and defensive arts, provides HP and melee attack bonuses. Well balanced and suited for beginners. I like that. If I want to rack up damage, focus on skillful application of damage buffs. <sighs> yeah. I don't have dual guns, do I? Okay, I see. Oh! A ray gun? Yeah, I'm not a professional. I'll do this one. Alright. And do my arts. Is my stuff all changed now? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's look at what we got. I know what that does. I want to move. Can I move it? What's happening? Okay. Why is it there? How do I move it? Oh, why? Um... What's this one? Deals weapon damage and when taunted boosts damage. Oh, when somebody taunts me? Maybe? How many BP do I have? Oh, 21. I don't want to waste them on anything. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well... We're finally done with the tutorial. The next episode of this that I'm going to make is going to be footage for a video about how the online infrastructure of the game works. So hopefully you guys, you know, if you watch this series regularly, that can be a little bit of a behind the scenes thing. Otherwise, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. I hope everybody has a good night. I'm going to go to bed.